I'm trying to get back to mm-hmm. this, but I'm hearing big, so I'm kind of cheating. I'm studying over here. This nigga's nice. Mm-hmm. I'm listening to Ready to Die. Mm-hmm. Like, oh shit, if I'm going to get in, I'm going to have to really step my shit up. Right. Like, I'm studying, <clears throat> but they letting me in. And so right. I'm studying. I want to get back to this, but then I'm starting to realize, damn, as I'm in there and I say, why don't we get somebody to say true? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to go get the girl. Uh-huh. I'm going to go get the girl. She comes and says, true. Uh-huh. She's listening to me. Right, 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 right. fuck with me. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So now I'm in. So then Puffy sees me. Next thing you know, what really got it with him was the interns. So he got all these interns running around. So See, I'm making this these See, this is t-shirts. why it's important to put that grind in. It's it's important to pay dues. It's and important to pay dues, but it's, it's also to see, it's also important to to play your position. Mm. Like, I knew what I wanted to be, mm-hmm. but I also knew that this dude had a vision. Mm-hmm. Get in where you fit in. That's right. So the interns wasn't making no money. Mm-hmm. So what I told them was, every t-shirt y'all sell, take $3 for yourself. Automatic. They're not making a dollar. Right. And I know $3 don't sound like a lot, but when you got to give back what you spent, which is the seven fifty we spent on it. Mm-hmm. Then they taking three. Right. I gotta still get my piece and give Puff back his piece and half. Mm-hmm. So, but now they saying, damn, if I sell ten, I just made thirty dollars a day. Right. I didn't make nothing for prior. seven hours That's prior. Right. That's right. So I'm taking who's from Queens. All right. Y'all go to Jamaica Ave. Mm-hmm. Don't come home till tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Who lives in the Bronx? Right. Wherever you live, take them to your borough. Come back the next day with the bread. Mm-hmm. And that's how I did it. So now the interns are making money. So now they love me. Because they come to work for Puff, but they know all they got to do is go in Derek's office, grab 20 t-shirts, sign out for them, and all they come back with my money, they good. Mm-hmm. And they got money for the day. Right. And So, so you was Puff running the block. That, I'm running the block now. So now <laughs> now the, the thing that put it over the top was I know Big, I know Craig. They know D-Dot from being in Two Kings of the Cypher. So while I'm sitting there and we doing the t-shirt thing, Kelly Green, who went to Howard with us, she, she let me sit in a little corner in her office, mm-hmm. God bless her, with a phone. And I called every record promoter, I, I mean, every show promoter I knew because I just came off the road. Right. Yo, y'all interested in booking my man Craig Mack? Y'all interested in booking Biggie? I'll send you the records. Remember back in the day, we had to put the record in an envelope. We had to lick the stamp, mail it, get these niggas' address, pray to God they get it at the radio station or wherever they at because niggas were stealing records. And dudes called me. Yeah, I like to book big. I book big some of his first seven, eight thousand dollars shows. Sitting in that little chair, and bad boy, trying to get my my thing on. Cause I know all these dudes. I gotta do it. I'm like, okay, I've just been on the road with a promoter from Detroit. Maybe he might want big out there. Mm-hmm. Let me call him. I want to know about you, know you managing Mary. Okay. How, what was that like? <sighs> That's another episode of the Lachey, of the Shea Show. I D-Dot. mean, just like I mean, it was incredible. Watching her evolve. Watch her grow. I just saw her win her, get her star in Hollywood. And I was just like, wow, that's that's my girl. Like, I watched her. I was there. I was Mary's tour manager from 1994 to 1996. Steve Lucas and Puff managed her. She rocked with Puff. Steve Lucas was the sit-at-home admin manager. You know, he was the guy doing all the deals, sitting tight. Puff was like her A&R manager. He okay. was with her, but he couldn't be with her. He mm-hmm. had a bad boy. Mm-hmm. So he needed somebody like him to be with her. But How also, was she? Did she go down to the lobby in time? When you no, told her to be down in No, absolutely not. <laughs> she, she was definitely a work in progress. Okay. But he knew I wasn't trying to fuck her. Right. He knew I, I didn't care about none mm-hmm. of that. I was trying to get in. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And you did. And I did. <laughs> so so <clears throat> I took care of her. You know, Latanya took care of her. She was scarred. I was scarred. I'm young. I'm trying to get in. She's going through whatever she's going through. But we bonded. You okay. know what I'm saying? We bonded heavy. We used to sing duets on the bus. And I was, I'm a music sing? dude. I, I can't sing, but I, I do sing and don't give a fuck. I don't say the note and wouldn't care. All right, but Derek. You know Derek <laughs> That's how I got married. Go. I, I want to know. Yeah. Get, let's get to the music. Okay, cool. I want to know when you submitted your first or tell me how your first production got heard. That's what I want to know. My first production.